Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. Your daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. Wait a minute. That says 7 p.m. And that's our clock at home. What the heck? She said it's a bedtime. We decided on something. We decided on a home vlog. What sparked? Did I spark it? Yeah. I sparked the home vlog, guys. You did. Um, so we got Impossible Burritos from oh. Cordoba. They were really good. Um, and I made fast passes at Animal Kingdom. Like we just decided, like on the way there. And then I think you were just so full. You're like, I just want to go home and lay in bed. I got invited to like apparently my whole department, a lot bunch of people in my department go out to lunch every Wednesday. So we went out to, I went out to lunch today, so I ate out twice today. Like it's all good food and it was all vegan and it was all but it's still You're like <laughs> So I'm ready to just chill. Evers. Are you ready for us to be home all night? Are you even ready? First step in my list tonight is to get in comfies. He got real comfy, real quick. This is quick. the comfiest clothes I've worn in years. <laughs> this is what I call the mate, my matrix shirt. And I think we're gonna go classic YouTube tonight. I think we're gonna do a home vlog, and I think we're gonna do. I want. I envision it being like inter, interjected Q and A. So Sarah posted up on Instagram, right? Yeah. So we're gonna watch the New Girl because we haven't seen this final season. Yeah. Okay. Our first question is: Since becoming vegan, how has your health changed? I feel less greasy, I feel less full, which is sounds silly because I'm super full right now. Right. Well, I feel like we eat more food, but we don't feel like heavy. Yeah. And I feel more awake and alert and excited to be alive. Yeah. She's having a good night and it's just begun. Get him. Ah. Bite him. It's been about two episodes of New World. She's finally calming down. <laughs> But she looks like a little person with her paw up. Next round of questions we got going on. Oh, I lost the questions. Hold on. I don't know how to work Instagram. This is Sarah's realm. All right. What is your all-time favorite movie? About time. It's Wonderful Life. Now, what, now that you have a passport, where would you love to visit? Trick question. Sarah doesn't have a passport yet. <laughs> we put the application in. Has it been easy adjusting to the vegan lifestyle? Pretty much. We still miss some stuff. Do you guys plan on moving out of the Orlando area one day? We're not planning anything. We're just planning to have 17 kids and have an awesome life. What was your final or biggest deciding factor in moving to Orlando? Every day joy. Exactly. What's your favorite Christmas decoration in the parks and resorts? Um, First thing I thought of was Wilderness Lodge. Just like everything. All the greenery. No, I think I like the green in Main Street, USA. What would be your dream place to travel? Asia. Africa. Dinosaurs. Alive and well. You name it. It lives here. At Disney's Animal Kingdom Park. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta see how cute Eve is when she gets the treats. Okay. Oh, nice hop. Ready, set, good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Hold on. You can't say it because okay. people are watching this. Okay, show, I can't. So. There's a really sad episode in the season seven of New Girl, and I had to stop because of the intro, and I had to stop recording the last shot because I was like, wait, what's going on here? And they just showed us, but we have to do questions. One, I also love that Nick and Winston are Chicago boys, born and raised. <laughs> Chicago. Like, Let's go look at the bean. <laughs> Chicago. They just kept saying Chicago. <laughs> All right, next one. Do people sometimes make negative remarks about always going to Disney? We get them all the time. We also get them all the time. Do we? Oh, yeah. When? Do uh, I just not see them? Well, I get it all the time from work. Oh, I work with my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Another one, now that you're getting your passport. Just, just really quick. I feel like a lot of people that we know know us so well that it's not like a negative thing. It's just like people just know. Like they just assume we're going to go. Favorite place on property for dessert um, oh before vegan, anywhere with a premium bar. After vegan, what's that one place called at Disney Springs? 
Oh, the Aaron McKenna's. Yes. They've got so many options. I'm trying to think of something else. The strawberry shortcake from Charles End is pretty. This is a good one. What's your favorite restaurant in downtown Chicago? The original Magianos. Yeah, that's your favorite. I'm trying to think. Or um, L's Beef. I was going to say L's Beef. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't think of something. <laughs> okay. The next one is, what was the most challenging part about starting your running experience? It's just going, getting out there and going. And that still is. It's been a year and a half. Hold on. I'm going to think of something really good. Favorite Christmas tradition? The batteries I think. I like a... Uh, Chopping down a Christmas tree. Chopping down a shopping. Christmas tree. Watching Christmas movies I'll, all I'll the time. I'll think of a better. I'll think of a better restaurant. I just know there's too many. Sarah's microwave and her unicorn because she's a weird little bird. <laughs> it's like a better than a heating pad. Right, because it's what flax seeds in there. Mm -hmm. And lavender. And those we're gonna kick that. Um, and I put it on my stomach. Kick that over the cysts behind. Doctor, did we say the doctor appointment's Friday? No. Friday morning. I'm taking off work. 9.30 in the morning, we go back to our infertility center to see if we can finally start this IVF once and for all. I thought of a restaurant. It's called The Gange. It's on Michigan Avenue. It's really, really good. And um, it's not downtown, but I really like that No Bones vegan restaurant. Me and Lauren went to. It's also already 10, 10 p.m. and I can't believe our night's already close to an end. <laughs> Next question, what was your biggest fear challenges when you moved to Florida? I was nervous that we'd hate it. <laughs> um, I guess it's not a fear, but it's just like missing family and balancing our family life, our Chicago trips and all of that sort of stuff, but we've, we've rocked it so far. Where do you see yourself in 10 years, i.e. career, living situation, location, everything? Location, wherever we want to be. I have no idea where we want to be in 10 years. And I want to be a stay-at-home mom. Do I, YouTube still. I'd love to be like my own business person, like an entrepreneur, like having our own business, whether that's like turning Sarah's graphic design and our, our like videographer skill stuff into a skill or if business. If not, then I also could, in 10 years, I'd like to be a director if I'm still in like a corporate world. Um, what is the food you miss the most after going vegan? Cheese. Cheese, all kinds of cheese. Same. Especially um, cheese that, um, shredded Shred cheese, cheese where you just go in your mouth at midnight when you're going to bed. Favorite genre of book, favorite book of all time, or top three. Let's just do favorite book, The Hobbit. Um, I, I'm just, I don't know, Harry Potter because I've like read it the most. All right, it's 11 o'clock and we're going to knock out some questions. But we just watched the last episode of New Girl. <laughs> and the last 10 minutes were some of my favorite t 10 minutes of the whole show. I'm so yeah, sad it's see. over. It's just a show that like you literally just laugh the whole time. All right, so this is the last one, one of the last ones I think Samantha posted. Okay. And Avi, the most important question, how excited are you for us to be BFFs? Super excited. So Super excited. pumped. I like this one. Would you consider moving to a mobile home community near Walt Disney World? Yeah? Yeah. For sure? No question. Just to thank you for being so open and real. Love you guys. Thank Love. you. Love you too. What's your favorite band? Right now, it is Andrew McMahon in the Wilderness. When's the next IDF appointment? Friday, Friday. morning at 9.30. Favorite small detail in any of the Disney parks? I like the tap dancing vocal lessons on Center Street, like right off of Main Street. You can like hear the classes going on. I like like the cement seals that you'll see from time to time again. Is Peter liking his new job? Peter's loving his new job. Were you always a runner? I'm running the Walt Disney World 10K in 2020. Any tips? Just go out and run. You'll and eventually no, get there. And no, I've not always been a runner. Is Sarah's sister's Wedding or reception at White Sox Stadium? Both. Both. In the, and um, I'm officiating. Yeah. yeah, the stadium club. What's the deal with Christmas in Chicago? Like, all the movies are set there. Because it's the best. Because it's magical. Especially at Christmas. We Ooh. got engaged and we started dating at that time. And Peter's born at that time. What has been the best vegan item you've eaten lately? Sarah's black bean <laughs> burgers. <laughs> I guess I'll have to agree. I like this one. Who are your roommates? <laughs> They're Matt and ben. and ben. Matt was our 
was Peter's roommate on the Disney College program, stood up in our wedding, was very, one of my very close mom. friends, and Ben is his boyfriend. What is your current favorite dinner recipe to make at home? The black bean <laughs> burger. <laughs> <laughs> that or like refried beans on tostadas with any kind of yeah. veggie. What is your favorite vegan chocolate for snacking? Uh, we haven't gone... That kind from the UK that the from the UK. Sean and Caroline got us. But we haven't done too much exploring besides that. Favorite older board game, Monopoly. I'll say Clue. Do you think you'll keep the vegan lifestyle long term? Maybe. Hopefully. Kind of like where we, we don't know where we're going to move ever <laughs> or live or what we're going to be doing. I don't know how long we're going to be doing this. We could stop tomorrow. Right. Or we could never stop. What are your favorite genres of music, favorite songs? I like Satchmo. Um, I like we like a big we like array. everything. Like we like the Chicago old big band. jazzy stuff. We like alternative. Like I don't know what would you even call that. Alternative. Yeah, alternative. Like like country like, music, yeah. like rap, like R and B. We like a good Kanye anthem West in concert. that you can sing really loud Ooh, in the We're car. big anthem people. Um, and Broadway stuff. Are you guys moving in the fall? We are. We are September, September 1st. first. Did Matt move to New York City? No. No, he worked there for two months, and now he's back in Florida. Is Christina pregnant again? She, she is, and is. she's due in December. Favorite vegan recipes? I'm recently whole. I'm recently whole food plant based, and finding it hard to curb cravings. I'd go definitely quinoa and bean based. It helps curb the, the, the yeah, hunger. Yeah, filling. I would say keep your flavors bold. Sauce combinations that make things really flavorful, but you still are just eating veggies. We need to move. <laughs> Because my arm is getting tired. Okay. Also, I'm moving to Florida in 18 months. Congrats. Anything you wish you knew me. or realized before moving? Just to save a little bit extra money because mm-hmm. there's always those unexpected yeah. moving costs. I think the biggest um, bit of advice is know how often you want to go to Disney because if you can save some money living a little farther away, um, do it if you only want to come on the weekends. But that, that's like a big thing, gas versus distance. Peter, what is your dream race to run? Probably, like, one of those crazy Northwest 100 milers. Sarah, what is your best performance you were ever in? Wow. The next one's from Steve. I already saw it, and it's so funny. <laughs> um, I would say... Singing in the Rain? I was going to say, yeah, Singing in the Rain. High school production, Singing in the Rain, and Peter is on crew, and they made it rain on stage. Did you book, Steve, did you book your Disney cruise yet? No. No, but I have, have a passport now. Well, go all the yes. places. <laughs> Any, I want to go on the Panama Canal one. Favorite restaurant on property? California Grill Brunch. Yeah, California Grill Brunch. What months would you say the parks are the least busy? They aren't. Um, but September, I, but, probably. I mean, January, February. I'd say, I'd say, September, I'd say February or September. I wouldn't yeah. say January. Because that first part of January is crazy. Favorite memory from your DCP experience? <laughs> I um, want to say when our song, which is Super Bass by Nicki Minaj, came on at our formal yeah. and our friends just like danced. All started dancing. Anytime we were just like with all our friends. Yeah. We were those people that like made our roommates our family. Yeah. This is a good one. Advice that you would give your newlywed selves. I'd give our newlywed selves... I'd reiterate to ourselves, because when we got married, we drove Route 66, and we talked to a lot of older couples that had been married 20, 30, 40 years, and we always heard, we heard a few, like, staples that we still talk about to this day, Mm -hmm. years later, and they were like, never go to bed angry, never go to bed in separate times. Mm -hmm. Those were, like, the two main things, and I would tell them, like, like, ourselves, like, stick to that, and and know that, for us, Mm -hmm. at least... Every couple's different, but like for us, that's that's the world. And so, yeah, and I think too, just like our marriage is you and me. You know, like that it's like us forever because we didn't know when we were newlyweds that we would have this struggle with having a baby. But like at the end of the day, like we've had incredible time just us two. So just like tell ourselves to be patient, and even though everything hasn't worked out yet, like still tell ourselves that we're gonna do everything we can to make it work. What made you start vlogging? Watching other vloggers and wanting mm-hmm. to just share our life, living yeah. down here with our family back in Chicago, and mm-hmm. preserve all of our memories. And I also think our lack of family videos. I'm new to you guys. It's obvious that you have been together a long time, but wondering how you met. 
So we officially met when we had classes together in junior high school in seventh, seventh grade. grade. Um, but we always joke around because I, hung, one of my very best friends in first grade lived on the block of his babysitter when he was in first grade. Mm -hmm. So we probably hung out when we were much smaller. Favorite Orlando water park? Typhoon Lagoon, hands down. But we haven't been to Volcano Bay. We haven't been to majority of them. Do you still have roommates living with you? We don't see them often in the vlog. We do mm -hmm. until at least September 1st. Yeah, our schedules are just different. Literally opposites. Uh-huh. And we actually were like all in the apartment tonight and we were like, hey, <laughs> like this is weird. Curious as to what you feel the, were the biggest benefits of the college program for us. Mm -hmm. I think it was our friends, like our roommates. Yeah, and I think a lot we learned also that was our first time we were away from home and living on our own. So like just starting to be humans out in the world. Also, will you keep me company on my solo trip next year? We'd love to say Absolutely. hello. Let us know when you, when you got it going on. Must do's for Disney Resort days during December. Just soak in all of the decorations. Yeah, and any treats like gingerbread, shingles at Grand Floridian, and yeah, treats. First movie y'all saw together in the theater. Ooh. We saw movies together as friends, like Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist yeah. might have been it. I think, I think mm -hmm. that was it. What are some of your favorite stops on Route 66 that you love to go back to? All of the small towns. What is your favorite underrated Disney hotel? Love you guys. Pop Century. I don't know. I feel like they all have their own group of people that love them. But we're, I'm, I'm always a big um, supporter of Riverside. Port Orleans Riverside. I love Christmas. What is your favorite thing about Christmas time? The movies and the spirit. Yeah, and the music. Ryan, no. Batman? Batman is my favorite superhero. <gasps> Why did you become vegan? Just to have a little bit, be healthy and to know exactly what we're putting into our body. Mm -hmm. What are your jobs? Sarah is a freelance graphic designer and professional YouTube <laughs> vlogger well, video editor, editor and well. video mm -hmm. editor as well. And I am, how would you put it? I am a reporting and data analytics analyst. Will you stay in Florida? I think this is the last one. Yeah. This is the last question. Will you stay in Florida when you have a baby? At least at first, yeah. I mean, we mm -hmm. have no plan whatsoever on like moving or staying. We're just gonna kind of go with the flow. But I'd say at least the first year, yeah, we we're wouldn't not, plan yeah, on we're moving. We're not gonna um, like throw any big curveballs into our mm -hmm. life after that happens. So. Like even if like the day the baby's born, we were like, we need to move. I think we'd still wait six to twelve months just because that's too much going on in our lives and the baby's life. Yeah to uproot and leave yep. whereas like the earliest would be then but right. there's no taking so life planned. day by day yeah. that's all we can do let's do this uh message now okay it's Brene brown Ooh. joy comes to us in ordinary moments we risk missing out when we get too busy chasing down the extraordinary Brene brown that's kind of perfect because today we just stayed home yeah. and watched the new girl finish the series that we've never finished mm -hmm. that's good and hung out with our puppy mm -hmm. Thanks for hanging out with us in our little Q&A hangout with mm -hmm. the TV show, The Couches, and Eve. If you're a new girl fan, comment below if you... Saw the no, last. You're, yes, if you saw the last one, but also your favorite. Yeah. My Murray. Uh, yeah. All day. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.